Hey, this is Coach Torrey with Fast Pitch Prep, and today on Fast Pitch Tutor, we're talking about bunting. We've spent a lot of time talking about our bunting package and are trying to give our hitters as many tools as possible to increase the likelihood of them being successful in a sacrifice bunt situation. One of the things that we know in our game is that there are some clear-cut situations where the sacrifice bunt makes sense. Trying to advance runners has always been and always will be an important part of our game. But one of the things we want to be able to do is arm our hitters with a, enough tools and enough options that they can be successful in the bunt game and, and really open up that door and make that a consistent part of our offensive packet. So we've talked about everything that we do in bunting starts positioning in the front part of the batter's box to make sure that we're out in front of home plate. Just like it's important in the sacrifice bunt or the push bunt or the slug bunt, it's also very important in what we're going to work on next today, which is what we call sack, slug, sack. The, reason for this is to, again, give our hitters the best opportunity that we possibly can to get that bunt down and to advance a runner. So everything starts off out in front of home plate. Just like with our sacrifice bunt situation, we're going to pivot, push, pull, get the bat to the top of the strike zone. Now what we want to do is hopefully get the infielders, those corner infielders, to start to move. The next step of this is I'm going to fake the idea of the slug bunt. So my hands come back like I'm thinking about trying to drive the ball by them, and then from here I go back out to sacrifice. So what hopefully happens for us is we get that first baseman and third baseman kind of on that yo-yo. They don't know for sure what's going to happen. They start coming in, then they start stopping, and as soon as we get them to stop and hold and think that the bunt is going to be a slug bunt instead of the sacrifice, then that opens up the field and gives us much more room to execute that sacrifice bunt. So it's just like it sounds. Sack, slug, sack is a fake sack, a fake slug to execute the sacrifice bunt, which is what we're really after in, in the whole time. So here's the way it looks. Start off in my regular hitting stance, pivot, push, pull, show sack, show slug, go back to sack. Now, is this something that the typical eight-year-old can do effectively? Maybe not. This is probably a more advanced skill, but if you have players on your team that are really adept at the short game and are really good bunters, we would love for them to have as many options as possible. One, to get base runners moved, and again, you know, maybe we can extend rallies and get extra people on base. So sack, slug, sack looks like this. From my hitting position, pivot, push, pull, fake slug, back to sack. And the bat's got to get back out in front so I can see the bat and the ball coming together. So that sack, slug, sack, the way we think it should be done, thank you very much.